Welcome, I'm Rob Froney, and I'm going to show you how to use the KiCAD Symbol Library Editor to edit a part already existing in the built-in library so that it matches your particular needs. Say you need a similar part to the one you're going to use. So firstly, you go click this Symbol Library uh, Editor icon. And um, the part I wish to uh, make is an HY301-07A. Uh, it's an opto, -is opto interrupter, but there's an opto isolator that has a very symbol sc similar schematic symbol. I want to use it. And it's a TLP785, I believe. Okay, there it is right there. So what you do is you find the part that's similar, like this one right here, you copy the symbol. Then you need to make a new library, I mean, the default name is new library, and I'm going to save that and use new library. I want this to be a project library, not available to all my other KiCAD projects, only this one, so I'm going to say project and hit OK. And then I'm going to get rid of this uh, search thing here. And I'm going to go down and look for my new project library, which, uh, new library, there it is, right there. And if you notice, there's no parts in that library, but I can right-click on that, and I can paste the symbol that I just did, and there it is. Now let's just make sure it's really in that library. It looks like, yeah, new library. So I want to edit that symbol, so I right-click on that again and edit the symbol. And if you no notice, uh, this has the collector on pin 4 and the emitter on pin 3, uh, the anode on pin 1 and the cathode on pin 2. Let's look at the data sheet for the HY301-07A. I think that is maybe here. Yeah, here we go. So if you look at here, the anode is definitely 1, the cathode is 2, that's good. Unfortunately, the collector here is 3 and the emitter is 4, so we need to switch those two. And, of course, we need to change the, uh, the name up here. So I use the E key to edit. I'm going to change the uh, 4 to a 3 here. Say OK. I'm going to change the 3 here to a 4. Say OK. I'm going to change the name here by hitting the E key, HY301-07A, that's what I've got. And then I'm going to change, I'm going to get rid of all these aliases, see these uh, italicized parts here, they're all aliases to that part, and, and that's not correct anymore because I changed the pinout. So you go to aliases and you want to delete all, and say yes then it would be nice to actually change this description so it says uh, photo interrupter and the not BC optocoupler and it would be nice to change this uh, data sheet to the correct data sheet so let's go copy that copy this play this URL and I'm gonna go in here click there control A control V and now I've changed that. I'm going to leave the package type because it might be right. I haven't looked at that. It might be right, uh, but it has a suggested package type here. So now what I want to do is I want to save this this um, symbol. So I'm going to click this, and then I want to save the library. I'm going to click this, and then everything should be saved, and we should be able to go to uh, KiCAD Project Manager, open the schematic, and add that symbol. Let's just see if it works. HY301, yeah, there it is, right there. So I double click there, and here's my symbol. And uh, you can see if I uh, go open the documentation, there it is. So that's a uh, little quick tutorial on how to uh, add a part that's similar to a part that's already in the uh, library with KiCAD. I hope you enjoyed the video.